Andreas Giorgio here for MMA Plus post fight ACB. Luke Barnett, difficult performance out there tonight against Scott Askham. It just seemed that everything went in his favour tonight. Your analysis of that performance? I mean, I have to watch it back. Um, but uh, as I said a few times tonight already, I just feel like I couldn't quite get the range. Couldn't find my feet, couldn't find where I was in the, in the cage. And, you know, I didn't go my way. He, he fought a good fight, he kept his distance. I expected him to come at me a lot more. I expected him to be a lot more aggressive, especially with the crowd behind him, uh, and he didn't. So, you know, I, uh, I was too patient. I waited too much, and I should have been in his face and, and took him out. In the first two rounds, though, it did seem like he was putting the pressure on you. He was coming forward. But did you expect him to do that more and more aggressively as well to open himself up? I expected more clinch. I expected more takedown attempts. I expected more, uh, get, like he usually fights, getting up against the fence and trying to grind you out. He didn't do any of that. He was coming forward, but he wasn't really committing too much to the shots. Um, and I, I just, I, like I said, I couldn't find my distance uh, and I got beat. We know you've, you've said prior to the fight that, you know, you, you have to cut a lot of weight. To, to come here and to, to fight against Scott as well. Did that play any part in this? Not at all. I actually had a very, very good weight cut. Um, I planned a lot. I trained extremely hard for this fight and I had a very long, long uh, fight camp. Luckily, I, I live in Spain and it was 35 degrees every day in the gym, so that helped with my weight. Uh, I was the lightest I've ever been to try and make the weight for middleweight. Um, and I felt, I felt it was the perfect weight cut. I was in the, the best shape I could be in. Um, just didn't go my way. Is there any resolve in the fact that the fights that you know you have lost recently tonight, and obviously against Kalidov as well, are against two very highly commended opponents. I would never, in a million years, you know, like Scott, he just beat the shit out of me. But I would never put him in the same bracket as Mavic Kalidov. Um, completely different tiers of opponents. Uh, Scott's talented, obviously, you know, we, we just saw that. Um, but I feel like the Mamed fight, Mamed's one of the best in the world. You know, um, I feel like. There's no, for me, I feel like I'm that level. I feel like I can, if I can perform and put on the fights that I'm going to put on, um, you know, so there's no, it doesn't make me feel better that I've lost to good guys. I'm only going to fight good guys. I'm, I'm not in here to fight bums. I could fight bums and win all day long. Uh, if you look at the people I've been taking out and fighting, a lot of people don't understand that when you leave the UFC, there ain't so many options. People like Scott's a great example. He's now left the UFC. He thinks, oh, I could just walk into main events. I can walk into big fights. He got this fight because of me. Now who's he going to fight next? There's not people just out there for him to fight. There's not big names, there's not big fights happening. So I took the fights that I needed to take to get the wins, to get the fights, because I want to stay active and I want to fight. Um, so some of the guys I've fought and I've beat have not been the best name in the world, but that's not for any other reason, but I can only get those fights. I'll fight anyone on the planet. It's like we saw that, I'd, I'd take on Mamet Khalilov and I'd fight him again. You know, I'd fight Scott again, I, it doesn't matter. I want to fight the best uh, that you possibly can. And that's why I'm at ACB, because they give you that opportunity. They pay well, they bring in the big names and they bring in the big fighters. Um, and I want to do the same for the rest of my career. I don't want to be fighting bums. Well, it's interesting you say that because Scott now will have to find himself some new antagonist to, to go with his story. But you, since you've come out of the UFC, you, you haven't really struggled to find that. I know you've had to move around a lot to get the fights, but it seems that people always want to book Luke Barnett in the, in the big fights, the Kalidov fights, the Scott Askham fights, you know, Venator as well. There, there, there were so many options for you. Why was it that you had these options coming out of the UFC? Because I'm out there searching for them, grinding for them and getting them done. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I think I, I sell the sport well. Obviously, I speak well. Um, I fight well. I try and put on exciting fights. I mean, I've lost two out of my last six, and the other four I've won by finish, you know, or five. I, I can't remember maybe it was five. Five, including uh, my last one. Yeah. So, you know, in the last seven, I've won five by finish. Um, that's not easy. It's not easy to finish people. No matter what level they are, going there and knock people out is, is tough. It's difficult, and I've been doing it uh, consistently for the last few years. And, you know, I should have done it tonight. Last, last thing for me now, light heavyweight, I, I presume. You've, you've said it so much now. Yeah, 100%. You know, there's no... Uh, and I can make the middle... Listen, I can make middleweight. I can keep fighting here. But I believe my future is at light heavyweight. Uh, I think it's the healthiest thing for me, for my life, for my career. I'm 29 years old. I'm going to be 30 in April. Um, and I want, I'm going to be a 30-year-old light heavyweight fighter. I'm not going to be cutting this middleweight. It's been doing it nine years. My 33rd fight, my 27th fight at middleweight, it's too much strain on my body and I'm going to continue growing at, at, at light heavyweight.